Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and this is going to be video number 8 of the Entrep Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to make a slot head screwdriver in Entrep. So without further ado, let's get started. So to begin with, we want to have two different part studios. So go to this uh, plus sign, add new tab, and create another part studio. Click, right click it, and then rename it to Blade. Have your original part studio renamed to handle and then press alt T or press on the tab manager right here to open this tab right here. Press shift and then click on the other part studio that you have right click and then add both of these selections to a folder. Call this folder screwdriver and then down here click on this folder to access everything with it. So now let's start actually doing the modeling. So click on the right plane, press Shift S and then Shift 4 to go right to the right view. And now press L. Make sure that it's uh, completely vertical to the uh, origin. It will show you that vertical constraint click and then drag downwards. This line should have a dimension of 0.325 inches. Then go to the right, click 4 inches and then go back up by 0.5 inches. Go back to the left by 0.3413 inches and then press escape. Now you should see, you should have this shape right here. Now, press Shift F to start playing your sketch. Play this corner right here by a value of 0.3. And then press A for a three point arc. And then we wanna make an arc between these two points with a value of 0.4. Now make sure that everything is uh, in the sketch is black, meaning that it's fully constrained, and then use the revolve feature, either clicking up here or clicking Shift W. Use it for the revolve axis. Click on this four inch line that you created before, and then confirm your sketch. Now press Shift 2 to go to the back view. Start a sketch on this circle right here using Shift S. Press C and then make another circle using the origin. This circle should have a diameter of 0.8. Make a second circle with a diameter of 0.19. Right click right here to activate the tangent constraint. Make this smaller circle tangent to the larger circle, meaning that at all times at least one portion of each of these circles will be in contact with each other. Now press in D and then dimension the center of this smaller circle to the uh, center of the larger circle. Should be a value of 0.432. And then go up here, instead of linear pattern, click on this drop down. Confirm the circular pattern feature and then click on the smaller circle. We want a total of six smaller circles. And as for the distance, uh, as for the total revolve distance, make sure that it is set to 300 degrees right here. It should have automatically done so, but if it didn't, make sure that it is set to 300 degrees. And now press Shift E to extrude the sketch because it is unlikely to actually work. If it does, then good. If it doesn't, then just click on each one of these smaller circles separately. Click Shift 7 to go into an isometric view. Switch to Remove for the extrusion. For the end type, switch to Up to Face. And for the face, click on this front face right here. And now, because with screwdrivers, there is that small bit before the end of the divots, we're going to go and click on offset distance. For the offset, 
distance, we want it to be offset by 0.7 inches. And then confirm your extrusion. Now we want to flay this handle, so press shift F and then flay these corners right here. If you just click one line on each of the corners, it should automatically flay the entire corner right here. So now that you've done that, make sure that the radius is set to 0 0.01 and then confirm. Press F7 again and then start a sketch on this front face right here. We want to make a circle, so press C. This circle should have a diameter of 0.25 inches and then you should extrude it, selecting remove and then confirm by one inch. Now that we have finished our handle, let's go back to blade and then start doing that. So now that we're at the blade, click on the front plane, click shift S, press C for a circle, and then we're going to make this circle the same diameter as our hole, so make it 0.25, and then extrude it by 6 inches to make a 5 inch long slot head and then 1 inch within the handle. Now start a sketch on the right plane and then press shift 4 to go directly to the right plane go to the left side of it press G for a corner rectangle and make sure that you have uh, this horizontal constraint snap to try to get as close as you can to the edge of the sketch of the model click and drag for the width or the length of this we want it to be 0.417 and for the height of this rectangle we want it to be 0.13 now make sure that it's set to align using L click on this point right here go up by 0.2 uh, inches or my bad 0.02 inches and then press A for arc Press on this point right here, and then try to get this semi-close, or just snap it directly to this point right here. For the tutorial sake, I will just put this on the line right here. And we want this arc to have a radius of 0.95. Now, because it moved downwards, we want to drag it back up to the top. Because we're making a slot head screwdriver, this is actually going to be our slot right here. So click on the mirror option. The mirror line should be the center 0.417 line right here. And then we want to mirror all of these so that it is considered a closed shape and we can extrude uh, it all away. Now click you're uh, done, meaning that you're finished with the sketch, and then press shift E to extrude these sides of this rectangle, uh, of this sketch right here. Use right click to go into orbit to actually see what you're going to do. Switch to remove. As for end type, make sure it's going through all so that if in the future we make any sort of changes, the sketch will still extrude through everything and then select symmetric to now be left with a perfect slot head screw slot head screwdriver blade. Now go and insert a new assembly part right here. And now either press the shortcut I or go up here to insert and then insert the blade and the handle that we made just now. And now make sure that snap mode is enabled. Either click Shift S or click on it. Now go to Fasten Mate. What this mate will do is that it will make sure that each of these parts are completely stuck to each other, removing any uh, freedom of movement. 
Now, press on this face right here. Make sure that you have selected the center of it. And then press the inside of the handle. So not the outside. Make sure that it's set to the inside. Then click. You should see this right here. And then confirm. X out of the second fastened. And now we have a perfect slot head screwdriver. If you want to change any of the colors, we actually have to go back to the original port and change it there. So right click, edit the appearance. For the sake of this example, let's make the handle red and let's make the blade a dark gray. So if we go back to the assembly, we're going to see this slot head screwdriver. Now please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.